Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to my channel. Today I have a Begleri review for you. Begleri review. By the way, how do you say it? Begleri, Begleri. Begleri, Begleri. Is there a proper way to actually say this Greek rooted sort of word? All right, I'm curious what you say in the comments, but I've been corrected and I'm just curious. Normally I say Begleri, but apparently it could be Begleri. I've, I've heard both. So anyways. We're actually going to be talking about the updated quantum colliders. This is from Lathe Back Designs. These are known as the Honeypot, aka the Honeypot. So that's what we're going to be calling them. But let's get into these and let's go. So I really liked the original uh, Lathe Back Designs uh, quantum colliders. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do have a review on that. But here I have them here. Uh, and it, basically the concept is like what if there was sort of a you know, kendama sort of kind of thing meets beglary. Okay, so it's a, a cup and ball kind of concept, right? So you can sling these and then you can kind of have a landing, which is kind of cool, right? Because I've talked about this before and a lot of beglary players know this is that, you know, kind of finishing a trick uh, is a challenge sometimes. Uh, whereas yo-yo or kendama, they certainly have a distinctive finish, right? It comes up to your hand or it spikes. Uh, whereas Begler, it's a little different. Like there's multiple ways to sort of end a trick or end a combo. Whereas these, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer how they're going to end. It's going to end in the cup, right? And and that's kind of cool. So these are the original ones. They are titanium, just like the new ones are. And so one of the big differences is, uh, well, we'll talk about all the differences, but is the end here, right? So we have. Um, by the way, before I get into that, one of the cool things about uh, lathe back designs, whether it's their beglery or their yo-yos or anything else, is they have some really cool packaging. This is their 3D packaging. It looks like a little honey pot. Pop, pops, tops off, <laughs> top pops off, and uh, and then each has a little compartment in there. And it did come with an extra uh, paracord as well, so 550 paracord. And it, it, it wraps up really nicely there. So if you want to store it like that and, and take it along with you, it's pretty cool. Um, and all their packaging is unique like that. But I've always appreciated that from everything I've reviewed from them. It has some really cool 3D packaging. So very cool. So as I was saying, the big difference here is really the, the actual ball design, right? So we have a, and this is why it's called the honey pie. It has a nickname of like a honey dipper kind of thing. Uh, whereas the original one is just round, uh, pretty simple. Uh, you can hide the uh, the bead really easily in this one, or the, the knot rather, not the bead, but the knot. Whereas on this side, you're really going to need to burn it so it's like really nice and flat there. Um, otherwise, it's going to probably be too, um, you know, too large of a, of a knot there and it's going to probably not have enough space there to kind of land that. Uh, the other big thing uh, is just the size of the beads. Uh, it's a much smaller, especially for the uh, the actual cup here. And I actually really appreciate that because while slinging them compared, right, it's kind of like you don't really know like a difference or like what needs to change really until you see an updated one and you're like, whoa, that is quite different. So like as I'm playing these compared, I'm like, I'm gravitating towards the newer design, uh, mainly just because of my preference. But I mean, I think the old one will probably Others will prefer that too, and I'll, I'll certainly keep a hold of this one. But yeah, the big difference there is the size of the, the cups. And you would think maybe, well, this one's a little harder to hit compared to the larger one, but it's actually not that bad. Um, and they did make, it's a little bit smaller, but not too much smaller in the actual ball design. It's kind of hard to tell because it is a different shape. But the other thing is it's substantially lighter, which is kind of the, the big thing for me. It feels just a little, it has less momentum, right? Like you. You know, if you're used to maybe heavier beglary sets, you know, in that 10 to 12 maybe range, this is going to be it right here. And, and it's not too heavy. Like, it's not cumbersome, the old, the uh, version one. But I really do appreciate the lighter one. So set all in is about 16 and a half grams. So that's a, a lighter set. Not crazy light, but lighter, certainly. And I really like that, personally. Uh, that's how, that's kind of my sort of Goldilocks weight of that nine to, I'm uh, sorry, eight to nine uh, gram per side. Uh, and that hits right there uh, for me. I like that. That's a big change for me. Not just like the shape and, and you have, you know, I like that they kind of went to the drawing board with, you know, the other design and all that. And it adds other things, but I like that they didn't just kind of like 
hey, just changed only the design of the one end. And, and so they changed the whole thing, like they overhauled the whole design, made this smaller. Uh, and there's a little bit of a lip here now. Let me show you if I can show you the difference there. Where this is nice and flat here on the, uh, on the cup side, this has a little lip there, which actually you can feel. And it's actually really nice because you can kind of feel it a little bit more whenever you go to, uh, you know, stall it like that. Ooh, I actually kind of did sort of a, a stall. Now here's, here's the big thing. And that's kind of why, uh, you know, we have these sort of, uh, this, this different design is you can kind of land it differently. You don't need to land it square in there. It aids in there so it can kind of grind along some of those little canals that are built into the, uh, into the ball there. And so you can kind of do it that way or whatever. You can tip it probably. And I, I've not had a chance to really experiment too much with it, but man, you can do some really cool balancing things with it. Really challenging, but it adds an extra thing to the actual play. So instead of just simply landing it, you know, landing it like so in there normally, you can kind of change that up and kind of really push yourself to kind of give a little bit more precision as far as your landing. So it's, it's really, it just gives you another option there. Uh, it looks cool, but again, I think the biggest thing is not just the simple different design on the ball side, but rather it also overhauled the whole design. The lighter, a little bit smaller, it gets a little bit more of a nimble feeling, a little bit more um, sportier sort of feel of the beglery. Russell on uh, Instagram, I'll have his link there too. He's fantastic with these. He's put a lot of time and a lot of hours into these. And um, you should definitely check him out. If you're on Instagram and you're not following him, um, he's got some great beggar content. Like if you want some inspiration as far as how to use these to their fullest potential, he's the dude. He also does a lot of these like sort of like catch and then toss and like, you know, hook the, the uh, paracord onto things. It's kind of fun. So those videos are a lot of fun to watch. Overall, I really do like this update. I, again, as I have reiterated a number of times, I tend to like these ones maybe a little more than the version one. Um, I think I like both of them for different reasons. Again, maybe the version one has a little more momentum. It can kind of, you know, when you're kind of moving and moving and moving, it's really maybe nice. And maybe perhaps because of the heavier feel, you can kind of be more consistent about hitting there and it's not bouncing as much. I've not really had too much of a problem with that, but there might be a little bit of that depending on how you play them. But I really do like this version too. It gives you a little bit of extra, you know, like opportunities for some skill catches, uh, but also just the, the play in the, in the feel in the hand is a little bit, um, is a little bit more my preference. So I really like that. I like that they kind of redid these. This would be the ones I would gravitate to. So definitely check out Lathe Back Designs. They do some really cool, unique things out there from their yo-yos. I've reviewed a number of those on this channel. So check those out as well. And now they're really cool, just offerings with Beglary. So that's gonna do it for now. And until the next one, happy slinging everybody later. Wow. Wow. Wow.